This is the Acaso True Wireless Smart Doorbell Low Power Mode. You can see some of the highlights here on the back. It requires two Lion 18650 size batteries. They look like this. Matter of fact, to my surprise, these two, I have two in my hand here, came in the video doorbell, even though the description on Amazon said that it did not. So that was nice. These came installed in the video doorbell with little black stickers on top. So I just took those off. And I'll get into some more about those later. What's really cool here, it works over your home Wi-Fi network. It has really good night vision. The doorbell was in this plain box with the manual, which is a very thorough, very detailed manual. As I always say, read, read the manual. This includes information on how to mount the video doorbell using your existing doorbell power lines. And the back of the manual also includes how to get the camera set up for your home Wi-Fi. So inside the box, the camera came wrapped in this uh, bag, self-sealing bag, it protected it very well. And you also get mounting hardware. And you get four screws with anchors and a little thumbnail to help keep the back of the doorbell attached to the mounting plate for the doorbell. And is all inside this padded area around the box. The doorbell itself, here it is. You can see the bottom has a thumb or a round circular place that you press that to uh, get a notification on your device that there's an incoming call. And there's the, the camera lens. You got a sensor to the left of the lens and above the lens. And speakers on the bottom. And microphone there on top. Now the back here, this is the mounting plate. You have two areas for screws to attach the power lines to from your existing doorbell. Instruction manual explains how to mount. You just, to get the backing off, you pull down, push it down, and pull out. And here you can see the contacts that will be made to power the doorbell if you choose to use your existing power lines. as well as the four mounting holes for the bracket. The back of the doorbell itself, you can see there's the contacts for the power. The charging point using a micro USB cord and a big reset button. And here, this is the battery door where the two 18650 Lion cells will go. Now with the 18650 Lion cells, some batteries have a button top that sticks out of the top. Some are recessed. These are recessed, but you can see on the bottom they're very flat. This is different than your typical AA or AAA C, D size batteries. You need to make sure you know where your plus and your negative or your positive and your negative ends are on the, these Lion batteries. If you install them backwards, bad things will happen. So make sure you know where your positive and your negative ends are, and you line them up correctly to place them in the doorbell. As I mentioned earlier, mine were in, came installed in the doorbell with plastic sticky stickers on the tops to protect them, so that's how I know how these go in. These d batteries did not come charged, so I used a micro USB charging cable from a mobile device and a wall wart from a cell Android cell phone and I plugged them in and let them charge overnight. The only indication I had for charging was in the 2C app with looking at the video. Hopefully once the batteries are charged the doorbell ran off of power not off of the battery and did not overcharge these batteries. Now one thing to note with using these Lion batteries the instruction manual indicates that they are good for 8 to 12 months on one charge. So if you're going to use a battery and not the power, make sure you have an extra set ready, readily charged when it gets low. They do take about 3 hours to charge. 
So, you know, you don't want to be without your doorbell for three hours during the daytime or nighttime. Especially with the video on this, since it is a good security. The app to use is called 2C, and that's capital T, lowercase o, capital S, lowercase e, e. When motion detection is on, you'll see you'll get a, no a notification on your phone with the camera name, and then there is motion detected. And here you can see by auto rotating the my phone, it goes into the video goes into full screen, where you can see what's coming, what the camera is recording or is seeing. Now, like this, it's not recording until you press record. What I did there was I turned the microphone, the speaker on and off for my mobile device so I wouldn't get feedback for this video. The next button is what they call scene buttons. Here there are options to be able to change what the mode that the camera is operating in. There's infrared, backlight compensated, wide dynamic range, um, and a few other options. Motion compensation. You probably want to turn, you might want to turn motion compensation on and let everything, let the um, night vision be auto. Uh, that's been my experience. I'm just playing around with the different options there. The wide, wide dynamic range really washes everything out. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. Or closed, it turn, just turns all those special features off. And there's a picture of a camera. That will take a screenshot and save it to your attached mobile device. There's the microphone button that allows you to start to use the app to talk to the doorbell. So the person that is standing in there at the doorbell will be able to hear you and talk back. And you just press on, press off. It does take a little bit long to uh, turn off there, as you can see. And then the video button that just starts recording a video from the, what the doorbell sees directly to your mobile device that's attached. And you just cl click off. You can click back. You can go to this screen. And you can see you have the same buttons. You volume, playback will actually show you the list of recordings that are on the camera itself. There's about 7.5 gig available memory for recording on the camera itself. To play back, you just select one of the files and it will start playing back. And scene, or I think they call it scene, that's what I was talking about earlier, where you have different camera modes to operate in. And the screenshot, we'll take a screenshot, save it to your mobile device. Your share button, once you have this uh, video doorbell under a device control, will create a QR code that you can send to your family member you want to be able to attach and be able to monitor the video doorbell as well. Video doorbell set up, you'll have to in, in, uh, input the device administration password that you set in. But there's buttons to be able to turn infrared light on and off, to turn low power on or off, turn the night, the, the sensitive motion sensitivity, video length, and ring volume, intercom volume. By default, the video length comes at fit set for 15 seconds. So what this means is that when it detects motion, it will start recording and record for 15 seconds. Closed it just means off. I've just been leaving mine at 15 seconds because you know, you're not going to need a huge ton of time unless you have a really long driveway or a sidewalk. Motion detection sensitivity, that's just how long of a delay does the, the camera take to record when it detects motion. If you set it for high, as soon as it detects the motion and wakes up, it'll start recording. Anything less than that, there's a little bit of a delay to start recording from the time it detects motion. The ring volume, just how loud will the ringer be. Intercom volume, how loud will it be on the doorbell? And then it shows you how much storage is available and left on the camera itself. As I've mentioned, it comes with about 7.5 gig. Format SD card, that will just delete your format the memory and delete all the recordings that you have on the camera. Device information is just some information that you set up during initial install. If you need to change the Wi Fi network, or the device name, you do have to pull off the back plate and press the reset button to reset the camera and uh, attach it and, and reprogram it. 
per these instructions. I found these instructions for how to connect a device to your home Wi-Fi to be very simple and straightforward. So one thing with the doorbell you can do is press the round button and on the attached app you'll have an incoming call and you press either answer or deny. One thing I have found with this is that if you do not answer with a, and then hit speak and you try to exit out of the 2C app, the app will actually cr pretty much lock up your mobile device. I've seen it where I exit out of the app and my screen goes black and I wait and wait and wait and wait and nothing happens. So just something to be aware of. But if you answer it and then do speak, it shouldn't be an issue, as you saw here. So you press it two times, you're going to get two notifications. There, I rejected the call. And you see the, the motion notification. And that's a simple, simple use of the Acaso video doorbell. Uh, now, this does require a data connection to be able to view and get these notifications. Um, one thing that was nice is I've noticed that if I was off Wi-Fi for a period of time and then got back on Wi-Fi, I get start. I got all the notifications on my phone once I was on Wi-Fi, and since it's set to record after motion is detected, I could could go through and look at the recordings. So there you have it. That is the Acaso Video Doorbell unboxing and review. say I'm excited to have it. So far it's been very very easy to use, very straightforward.